Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure with P through the city of Krat, or Krat, or however you pronounce it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really all I did was run around and farm up some Ergo or Argo or however you pronounce it. Okay, now that that's all been said, let's go over to this Stargazer. I want to apologize. When I went to rest here to go teleport, Jiminy started talking to me about assembling a weapon. We can actually change out our handles here. I think that's pretty cool. But we're not going to do that. For now, we're going to teleport to the hotel uh, crot. We're going to talk to Sophia. I'll use my power to help you. Or we'll level up. So we're going to put some into capacity. We're just going to do one across the board here until we can't anymore. Go level up our weapon. I know my way around a weapon. Oh, we can assemble weapons at her as well. Ah, one more hidden moonstone. I want to try something real fast. Could have swore that this lady gave me some dialogue for wearing this. People have no idea. Thanks for keep. Nope. Maybe I'm just tripping on that. real quick we have all of these uh, by the way I was reading this and I have a feeling this is gonna be equivalent to a boss soul like in um, Dark Souls so I'm gonna hang on to this for now and see if maybe we can trade that in for weapons or something I'll use my power to see if we can't get one more level. We can. Awesome. So across the board, we're just going to keep leveling this up. I'm going to stop at 15 for capacity, but I'm going to continue on with motivity, technique, vigor, and vitality for now. One more thing I want to talk about when we get to it. Just trying to find my bearings. Uh, for your information. I want to buy this. And I don't really have enough for any of this other stuff. 
So I'm not going to bother. But when it comes to weapons, I want to buy them. Is it over here? I think it's over here. Just want to backtrack a little bit. I did find where that... Um, Spot that I was like, oh, where, where do I open that up at? I've never been over there. At the beginning of last episode. So over here at this ladder, let me just kill this guy. That guy too. So at this ladder, I didn't notice it when we came by here, but I took it on down while I was exploring off screen. And I found a hidden moon uh, gym just over here by this puppet. I think it was somewhere right over here. And then I opened up this shortcut. Which I'm going to show everybody where this shortcut is. Or well, where it leads to. So right here is the first stargazer that we uh, repaired. Now let's go ahead and teleport over to Krat City Hall. Star Fragment. Um, I think I talked about that in the last episode, but it will allow us to summon in a specter. Which is good. Yes. Walk through that stuff. Awesome possum. This shit looks crazy, man. This looks like some uh, eldritch horror kind of shit. I didn't even notice I missed an item over there. Good thing we're opening up this shortcut, huh?
I think this is the one that talks about the petrification disease. Not sure. Like I said, I, I read a lot of this stuff off screen. So sometimes I get stuff wrong on what note is what. Jeez, that guy was beefy. Oh, no. No survivors here. What do we do? Just give her that baby puppet? So now we have to make a choice. If we tell her it's a puppet or if it's a beautiful baby. Just trying to take out some of these guys before we go back to the lady. Puppet destroyers amulet? What does that do? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay, it looked like I didn't equip that for a second. looking around for a second just making sure I didn't miss anything I think we can come over to this stargazer real fast. talk to this lady you found her guide one I could sense her from miles away oh my sweet Elena please let me hold her there there my baby I missed you so much. <laughs> what do you think? Is my baby adorable? Um, I'm going to go with she's a cute baby. That's right, kind one. <laughs> you granted me my only wish. 
sweet Elaner. We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. You can listen to the music on the records to obtain humanity. That's interesting. I'm not sure I can listen to the music while recording. So I am going to listen to the music and stuff off screen. I apologize to anybody that wants to hear the music, but... But I don't want to get a copyright strike for listening to the music, is what I was going to say. Oh, look at that. Missed an item back here and everything. Good thing we came back over this way. Go fight the boss. Our first real boss. Run right by all this stuff. Well, no, we fought the parade puppet. So it wasn't our, this isn't our first real boss. want to do something real quick let's put that on
Nice. That is a lot of stuff that we just got. And we just got a puppet? Let's fix this real quick. I didn't even use any health. See, I have a feeling that we're going to have to give this to somebody because it says a treasure hunter may want this rare uh, ergo. That's cool. That's for our legion arm. But we got a puppet. Here. A shapeless toy carved from wood and painted over. It has the strange appearance of a hunchback, but it was obviously made with care. Winter abandoned by the adults. The children let go of their childhood to survive. Spring, the broken police puppet accompanied the children's whistles and restored the children's laughter. Summer, the children made Murphy. Hey, that little kid, Murphy, by carving wood and painting him with stolen paint. Fall Murphy, who received Murphy as a gift. Wait, Fall Murphy, who received Murphy as a gift never let go of it I have a feeling some of this stuff uh, translation is kind of off because I believe uh, the makers are from South Korea so tr uh, like you know converting English to you know all of that like different languages can be difficult so I, I definitely understand if some of the words are a little off um where was that kid at I want to say he was over here. Um, I think it was down this way, right? Is it over here? I think so. I because of the dogs. I remember the dogs. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy. I miss you. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. Can I not do anything with this doll? Well, that's weird. Well, we know he wants Murphy. We'll try to figure that out later. For now, let's go back to Hotel Krat. Or Krat. Not quite sure how to pronounce that. Krat or Krat. I'll get it right eventually. Let's go to uh, Hotel Krat.
Where did uh, Sophia go? Wow, cool part you got there. Come here for a sec, would you? I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to legion arms, but I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Oh, cool. We can switch out our legion arm. We have motivity. Let's give it a try. You're going to the factory to save Mr. Venini, right? He's the richest man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I know my way around a well. Mr. Benini is the richest man in Krat. His company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's, uh, peculiar, but a good-hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. I heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. Where did the kitty cat go? Yeah, I'm not sure what they mean by the whole humanity thing. We'll figure that out. Ah, oh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lysian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please, go save him and shut down the factory. P organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. Add Fable slots. Increase Pulse Cell. Eh. 
Ooh. Um, I think I want the stagger duration. Oh, I, wow, what? That doesn't make sense. From the same type. I don't get that. That's weird. Well, maybe we will go with this since we can't. Maybe we'll do this. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't know if we have any more quartz. Oh, we do. We have one more. So stagger window. Should it be stagger window or fable arts? Man. Um, we're going to go with stagger window. And then fable. Fable. Oh, man, fatal attack. All right, fatal attack. Just because if we get that off and we're fighting a boss, not enough quartz. Okay, never mind. I see we have zero quartz. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. You can get from City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Vinny, the city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Venini Works is the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Venini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with them. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. And that's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy. Or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off earlier while he was talking. We're getting ready to end the video because the video is getting quite long at this point. 
but I just wanted to talk to everybody before I ended the video. Now that we have a moment to talk, you must understand. The city is on its deathbed. The petrification disease spreads too fast, and the puppets rampage everywhere. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. That's why I found you. Our only hope, Geppetto's puppet. We're both unique. I am able to wield the power of Ergo. Power I used to call on you. That's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. I'll use my power to help you. Okay, she doesn't have anything else to say. And... What about this guy? Welcome to Hotel... Uh, yeah. The Stalkers are Kratz Vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the Alchemists and the Workshop. Motto? Honor or nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto? We always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent. But most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? And then we're going to talk to... her? That sounds very dangerous. Geppetto usually isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, dear. Uh, I, I shouldn't have said that. You and Geppetto are always welcome at this hotel. Geppetto's room is on the second floor. You can stop by whenever you like. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me company. So Geppetto is grieving somebody. Interesting. That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? All of Krat knows the story. All because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Ah, but this is strange. I, I do not recall... Who exactly was that someone? That book reminds me. All oh, but this who? Okay, it just repeats the same dialogue. So what we're going to do is we are going to end the video, I think, right about here. And I am going to listen to the records off a uh, screen. I, again, don't want to get a copyright strike. Uh, because that sucks, <laughs> but right here's where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.